hi guys hi guys i am currently in church welcome back to the channel you guys i couldn't vlog this morning we're in the haste these days are usually very very busy i'm currently working on something now for the church uh church quotes now um you wake up in the morning and everybody just wants to rush like so that we'll get early to church it's also not good to be late to church that's what basically happened and i couldn't vlog i couldn't do anything the only thing I could do at that moment was just get dressed and start moving so that we will not be late for church and so that's what happened and that's why i was not able to open the vlog but yeah welcome back to the channel you guys and yeah i hope you guys are doing greatly i hope you guys are fine this is actually my outfit today even though you guys cannot see is in my habit to talk about how the other services went yesterday my god yesterday was massive was really awesome we had an awesome time eh? we always wear tags guys my tag is not with me my tag my tag actually came out from uh, tag stuff and yeah and I wasn't able to fix it back i've not gone home and i'll just wait for the afternoon session in church so that's what's happening i'll wait for the afternoon session in church i feel good i feel great I'm a little tired not a little very tired but god's willing we will scale through this week healthy and strong so yeah yesterday was very very massive the word session the evening session the morning session everything was apt was great we had a lovely time especially the night session person anointed came up and wow 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 before pastor Nente came up and um, there was a pastor that took the bride of christ explain how you are jesus's bride and you know you know most times we feel that um, um okay jesus is jesus jesus is one one god there and most times when we hear um being like christ we just feel like okay you used to wear white clothes or oh, live holy life don't do this don't do that we don't recognize that even when jesus was on earth jesus was a fellow human as you and i jesus was a fellow human you are seated at the right hand of god you are with christ god wants you to attain that place that he is like when pastor anointed came up it was really a powerful session a very prophetic session people were healed like we were we were instructed to shout, to dance, to sing, to praise God, to rejoice in the Lord. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord, rejoice always, always, always. Yesterday was a very powerful, we had a very powerful moment in the presence of God. When Reverend came up, he said everybody was going to leave healed and people got their healings god is faithful god was faithful during these meetings yesterday we had a lovely time i cannot over emphasize how lovely those moments were but it was beautiful the bible says shout rejoice not only when you get I mean, you know people when it's only when they see a lot it's inevitable we are definitely gonna smile and laugh when a lot comes to our phone yes we know but faith is praising god even when you say the assurance of things hoped for faith is the assurance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so in that 
in that you're praising God, in that you're rejoicing, even when you're not saying it. You know, Pastor Shex was also a teaching he took when he was saying that we only see things in the physical. Is it Pastor Shex? No, I'm missing it. MTS class. During our MTS class, Pastor Teams took that particular session one of our mts class and he said that you don't know how the spirit realm works the spirit realm works like a fan like the way this fan speeds very fast and then we in the natural we when let me just use the fan as an example you know you have number one number two number three number four number five five is a spirit realm and you know that the realm of five is very fast and then we in the natural we are number one so sometimes the answer the the what you are praying for is already answered but you need to emphasize it you need to pray it you need to insist on it that's the word you need to insist to see it happen you need to insist for it to be made manifest in the physical so sometimes the prayers are answered and we we don't see it like because of course we are in the natural it will take god opening your eyes to be able to see what he has done for you and that answer that he's bringing your way so sometimes we lose hope we lose faith and that is when God sees us like having faith in him. If you remember our father Abraham, faith. You need to go and read on faith again. See, you're not seeing the thing. You know, I wanted to share this testimony a long time ago. But I'm going to share it on my story and I'm so excited about it. There was a day I was needing money. I was talking to my friend on the phone and I was telling him that oh more I need money. He was just telling me that we pray about it. Talk to God about everything. Talk to God about your needs. God will supply all. Like the word works every time. The word works every time. And I went to my knees and I prayed. And do you know that that day? An uncle called me, not a blood related uncle, but that day an uncle called me. And then he was like, How is school? How is everything? I didn't see that call coming. I didn't see it coming. But you know what? After we finished talking, he was like, Ah, uh -uh, you hear from me, sick? Because there was a lady that, blah, 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 long story short. He was like, Okay, we finished talking and we finished greeting chatting and everything and he was like just send me your account number let me send you money i never asked him for money nothing i never even when he even asked me how are you i was like i'm, I'm very fine uncle i'm okay i was like let me send you money send me your account number and i sent him my account number he sent money to me and i was like god is faithful and that's even the least reverend says reverend said yesterday that sometimes when god even the least thing that god will the least miracle that you even see is that you are praying and god answered that prayer immediately because there was no provision for faith he get what i'm saying and he was talking in the aspects of healing also he said sometimes when your healing even come instantaneously in people it, since there was, there was no even provision for you to have patience and have faith in god it's easier for the enemy to come and deceive you. You get what I'm saying? It's easier for the enemy to come and deceive you again. And instill and even put that um, illness back in you. But you know what? When you are able to believe God and trust God for that thing that you are hoping from him. The time that thing comes, you would know the process. You will know how to go about getting it again. I'm trusting God even if I'm not seeing this thing. And I'm trusting God even if I'm not seeing that miracle come in place. I'm going to trust God even if I can't see it in my bare eyes. And you trust God and you have patience in, in God. So even when that thing happens, you know how to get it back again even when you lose it. So he was even saying that sometimes even this instantaneous distance doesn't help the believer. Because there was no faith in place. There was no patience in place. So that's it. Too. God, God's word work every time. God's work work every time. I am victorious. I am a conqueror. God is going to release all good things to me in every season of my life. And I am so grateful to God for the place I'm connected to. It's amazing. You guys, there was something I posted on my story, on my, my, my threads and Instagram. And I was like, the word of God. The word of god the word of god is the reflex surrounding yourself with the word of god faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of god faith is built by hearing of the word of god. like i know that god answers prayers and it's just this assurance that you have in god that okay anything that is happening in the world i have god 
i have god always leave it eternity in view you guys always leave it eternity in view not only focusing on okay how am i am i going to survive in this physical see when you focus on god self god will give you keys mysteries that will bring things to you yeah if you focus on god god will open up mysteries and keys that will bring things to you so it's not just don't only focus about the physical realm that's how an entertainment for that to say sometimes you look for who okay who, who to tell you who you are and you do not know that if you look into the word of god you will know exactly who you are if you look sometimes your messages comes it's not that you will not sit down in church and be like okay this sister needs this ah i hope this is is listening ah this message is for another person you take the message for yourself take the message for yourself and allow the holy spirit to lead you allow the holy spirit to walk through you so he was saying that sometimes when the word of god come it will show you who you are if you if you are if you are if you don't know who you are if you need to travel for them another person to tell you who you are go back to the word of god